Hi everyone. So in this video we will see how to build our Jenkins job automatically on each GitHub commit. Right. So for every GitHub commit we have to tell the Jenkins to execute our build. Right. So in our previous video we have seen uh, how to run our test, uh, uh, I mean locating the project from local system as well as uh, we were taking the project from GitHub. Right. So we were taking the code from GitHub uh, in the, to the Jenkins and we were running our build under, under running our test, right? So this time, uh, so whenever there is a change in repository, right? So someone is pushing their code, someone is committing their code. We have to, I mean, detect the changes and we have to execute our build, right? So, so to do this, like uh, we, we have to go for a poll ACM option, okay? So in the trigger trigger option in Jenkins, we have to select poll ACM. So what is poll ACM? It will periodically poll the ACM to check whether changes were made or not, right? And it will build accordingly. I mean, whenever there, there is a new commit is going toward a GitHub repository, it will automatically detect and it will run, okay? So there is one more option, uh, which is a build periodically, okay? So which means you can give some constant time, right? So particular time of interval, so the build will be run. Okay, so we'll see this build periodically in our next video. We'll go for a policy. Okay, so how do we trigger the build uh, in the policy? Right, so we have to use the cron job format. Okay, like a five star. Okay, so I will tell you what this uh, star formats are. Not. Okay, I mean each star has some uh, well, I mean uh, some format. Okay, so we'll go to uh, Jenkins now. Okay. So in our, my last video, we have created this uh, GitHub Maven project, right? I will open the same project. Okay, so here already we have done the configuration, right? So we'll go to the configuration. So what we have to select now here, like we have to select the build trigger option, right? So the trigger option we have to select poll ACM. So where we have to select so here we have to pass the github repository details and you can come to the build triggers right so here we have to select this poll acm right so as soon as you select this poll acm this box will open here we have to type star right the star is So like that we have to give so what is what is really mean like so you can go to this question mark if you click upon you can see so it has uh, it is uh, like a minute hour uh, date of the month and the month and the date of the week i mean day of the week right so that's what the all star is so since we have given it's like a all the star which means every minute right so every second if you see here would have last run friday december 11 uh, 2020 at this time so next time will happen immediately. I mean, it is it is hitting this uh, our repository frequently. Every second it will get and it will try to run that. I mean, if there is a change, then it will run. Otherwise, it won't run. Okay. So you can go through this uh, all the cron job like so. If you want to run every fifteen minutes, then this is a format, right? So if you want to run every ten minutes of the first half of ADR, like so, you can do like this. So this is like a cron job uh, we have to say. So if you see this one, okay, so, okay, so perhaps you can mean, okay, it's okay, no problem. So let it be five star. Okay, so then we have to come back, I mean, come to our build area. So build area is, uh, I mean, this is a root palm.xml. This is a maven clean test, the command that we have to pass, right? So after that we are not doing anything. So we'll simply click on apply and save it. Okay. So now if you see, uh, so this is my last bill, right? So 11, number 11, right? So now I'll go back to the Eclipse. Okay. So this is the project. Okay. Cucumber 4 Palm, right? So that is a project name that I'm, I'm using it here. If you see in the configure page, so that is a GitHub URL that I'm passing it uh, to the Jenkins. Right, so you can see it here. Okay, so this is a project, right? The same project, uh, I will go back to the Eclipse. So this is a project. Okay, so I will simply add one text file here to to I mean to push the code to the repository. Okay, so test one dot 
txt file. Okay, so now I have added this like so it I will I can go and commit the code, right? So here I will go to commit. So now you can see this is I mean the what are the file that we created in the unstaged. Okay, we have to stage this one and we can commit like a test file. Right? So I will do the commit now. So before that, like have we seen, so our last build is 11, number 11. Okay, so I will open my GitHub repository. So this is a repository that we are currently working. Okay. So now I will make the changes. I mean, I will push the code. We'll see it in the repository. Okay, let me do it from the common prompt. So we have done the push now. Let me go back to the uh, GitHub repository to check our commit is pushed or not. Yeah. So now you can see. You can see. So one minute ago we have added this test file, right? So we'll see in Jenkins. Okay, you can see the last commit is one minute ago, right? So we'll go to Jenkins. Here you can see the build is started recently, right? I mean, uh, so this is was our last build. So wait for some uh, few seconds. So there will be uh, build 12 will be automatically created now. Okay. So yeah, so here you can see this is all I mean, uh, queued up, right? So the build 12 is just creating. So it has detected the changes in the repository and it started running it. Right. So if you go to the console, you can see it is started by the SEM. Yeah. So started by the SEM change, right? So before that, uh, so whenever we run the, uh, we build automatic, I mean, we build through the ma uh, manually, right? So if we go to that one, you can see it is, it, it shows as a triggered by agent, right? So this one will show as a triggered by SEM. So this one you can see, uh, running system started by the timer okay so timer this lines like so periodically we run right <coughs> i mean this is a, a report right so build number 12 just just we run right okay so we'll go back to the jenkins so since we have so many i mean so many uh, reporting uh, we have done already in previous videos okay so now uh, since we have given this poll acm right so poll SEM, we have given this uh, five star, right? So each time, I mean, every seconds it will check the our GitHub repository, okay? So only if there is a change, it will run, okay? Otherwise it won't run, okay? So you can see it is, I mean, uh, the last build was 12, okay? It's not running every second or it's not running for every minute. So whenever there is a change in uh, GitHub repository, if you are pushing the code, it will start the test otherwise it won't i mean otherwise it will it will not run the test okay so that's all about uh, i mean using this uh, uh, i mean uh, automatically building the jenkins of every github commit okay so if you guys have any doubt or any questions feel i mean uh, please feel free to uh, add in the comment section okay so please watch my previous video uh, i mean how to create a Maven project and how do we uh, create a local project and how do we generate the different uh, types of report, right? Yeah.
so if you guys have any doubt please feel free uh, to ask in the comment section okay thank you guys